A magnet fisherman in New Jersey makes a potentially explosive discovery. Magnet fishing is when you search bodies of water, hoping to find valuable metal. CBS 2's Christina Fan has more on the item that he found that led to a visit from the bomb squad. I do believe it's a 22 caliber handgun. Kevin O is a recreational magnet fisherman. This growing pile of scrap metal and his Instagram page, full of interesting finds, from an ATM machine to an assortment of knives. There's something stuck on there. But his catch this past Saturday from the Passaic River was the most explosive of all. My friend Patrick saw it and he goes, that looks like a bomb. <laughs> and that's when we realized what we could have, possibly. The two avid fishermen were on the Lindhurst Bridge in Nutley when they hauled in a 30 pound projectile. They didn't know what it was, but figured it was wise to call 911. It was a little uh, nerve wracking at one point when the uh, police officer told us that it was a four inch shell with a 90 foot blast radius, and we were a little bit too close for comfort. Not only did the bomb squad have to respond, but police shut down the surrounding intersection as a precaution. Officers believed the shell was live and eventually took it to a safe location to detonate. Really hit you in the head and said, wow, what did I just pull out of there and what could have happened at any given time when I was carrying it? Kevin said that he started magnet fishing three years ago, finding it a great way to help clean the environment while also learning a bit of history. This excerpt from the Nutley Historical Society he shared with us suggests the shell could have come from Camp Nutley during the Cold War. And the article states that they had artillery guns in this area in case the Soviet Union were to attack the George Washington Bridge. A discarded story rediscovered behind every piece. In Nutley, New Jersey, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News.